Welcome to episode 28 of G Hallery's Beer Reviews. Firstly, I'd like to apologise um, for not having a review up for over a week. I've just been really sick um, and my thumb, <laughs> for those who know me, they, they know the story. I've had a really bad infection in the thumb and um, yeah, staph, staph infection, so not good. But um, I figured I'll do one beer review today because I haven't had a beer for a long time. I actually feel like one and I know the fans want it. So, <laughs> thumbs up for that, eh? <laughs> anyway, so as you can see, I, today I'll be reviewing Atomic Pale Ale. So this is brewed by the Gage Roads Brewery in um, Western Australia. So they, they make, if you're aware of that brewery, they do make a number of other beers which are all quite good. I've never had this one before though. So it says here, brewed with powerful US hops to produce a beer with Grunt, Cascade, Chinook, Sinanteril, and Citra. I haven't even heard of those hops before. Well, I've heard of Citra, but not the other one. Um, our brewers call these the sea bombs call these hops the sea bombs fair enough i'm not satisfied we also dry hop in a fermenter um, with the artanium which is the a bomb so that's where they obviously get the atomic from so i don't really understand what this really means i know it's to, to do with the hops but it's probably just making the sound a bit better um for the extra aroma so atomic pale ale brewed by fussy bastards well i suppose that's a good thing they take their um their beer quality seriously. All right, without further delay, let's crack it open. Okay, I've just got a nice schooner glass. And these are the, these come in the stubbies as well. But this is the long neck. As you can see, I. So I've been out of form a bit. I um, looks good, uh, but I, it comes in at 4.7% alcohol by volume, and it's a strange 640 milliliter um, long neck bottle. So a bit smaller than your standard long necks, you know, Cult United and Lion Nathan long, long necks. Um, all right, so it pours well. Excuse my voice, as as you can hear, I'm not um, feeling 100%, but I, this beer might make me feel a bit better. Um, yeah, a little bit of carbonation, not as much as I expected. As for the colour, it's a dark, dark golden colour. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely on the darker side. The he head, there's uh, one finger. Um, it's it's not um, that white, it's sort of a, a darker, sort of cardboard coloured, coloured head, if that explains it well. I'll just top it up. Okay, as for the smell, Hops, the hop smells straight up. Not dissimilar to the uh, other Gage Roach um, brewery, you know, other beers that they make. Um, they've got that very hoppy and floral sort of smell. It's a sweet hoppy smell. Mm, very floral. Smell, it smells very inviting though. All right, most important part, the taste test. Cheers. That's not bad. That's a good pale ale. Um, you got that multi sweetness there. Um, with over the top, the, the citrus of the, the citrus um, bite and the hop hop bite, as um, my good friend Swingrog likes to describe it, it's there after the first sip, and then it's got a bit of a bitterness at the end. Um, it's not a ex uh, very strong bitterness, though. I, I would have expected it to be a bit more bitter. Um, being a pale ale and from the Gage Road or Gage Road, sorry, uh, brewery um, knowing the other beers they make um, in this style can be very bitter I'll give it another go actually, uh, that, that's really good I'm, <clears throat> I'm enjoying that it's a, a nice balance very sweet the malts are sweet but in a good way and um it's got that real citrus note there and then the, the bitterness uh slight bitterness at the end but i wouldn't say it's overly bitter um uh, compared to a lager or something it is of course but for a pale ale, <coughs> excuse me pale ale as we all know um 
they tend to be a bit more on the bitter side. As I've mentioned before, I'm not, uh, the well, pale ales aren't my favourite style of beer. Um, whilst I do enjoy them, they're not my favourite style, but in saying this, in that, that is, this is very, very good, and I'm enjoying it. I'll give it one more sip, and then I'll give it a score. Yeah, as I said, all those flavours are really balanced out well. It's not offensive in any way. Um, the bitterness is probably picking up a little bit now after the third sip. Um, obviously the palate's getting used to it and it's settling throughout there. Um, so there's a bit more bitterness uh, on the third sip there was compared to the first. Um, but it's balancing out quite nicely. I find it really good. I'm quite impressed by this. Um, so what would I give Atomic Pale Ale? I'd give it a 8 out of 10. For a pale ale, I think it's very good. You like your pale ale, give it a, um, give it a go. I was going to give it a seven and a half, but I think it deserves a bit, bit, bit more than that. It's um, actually a very nice power ale. So eight out of ten for Atomic Power Ale. Um, Apologise about me being a bit all over the shop. I'm still. <laughs> I don't know if I'm coming or going, but um, I just thought I'll get one beer review away just to keep the fans happy for. <laughs> and hopefully I'm on the mend and I'll be back to 100% in a week or two. But I'll get try and get one out next weekend as well. Alright, so 8 out of 10 for Atomic Power Ale from the Gage Roads Brewery in Western Australia. Thanks for watching another G Hello Beer Review, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.